stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. What's up, everybody? Nick Hacking here, South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts at Lumpini Stadium, one fight night 16 in Bangkok. This man just opened the show with a great victory over Jeremy Miado. The rematch is done. You got your revenge. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a war. Look at your eyes, busted up your foot as well. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm careful not to step on this. Sorry. How are you feeling, Lito? Uh, I'm just happy. I'm just happy that, uh, yeah. I gave what the fans wanted, and of course, even me, I wanted to finish this fight. So even though uh, both of us are Filipinos, but it's just like everyone is wanting this to uh, happen very much. So I hope you enjoy it and we deliver well because, yeah, judging from my face, my foot, <laughs> we give everything there. <laughs> yeah, because the first match, you got injured, your knee, you hurt, and then... He obviously won the fight, but did you feel you had a point to prove? Yeah, yeah. And I really didn't consider that a loss for me because I know I'm winning the fight. Then, yeah, and I am. A, I have a better camp that time. <laughs> so it's just like I don't consider it a loss. Maybe a doctor stoppage. So that's it. Finally, uh, we finished the rematch and I won. You did win. That's back-to-back -back wins for you now in the space of about six weeks, I think. What's next? Yeah, if you're looking to for someone to open up again next month, <laughs> I think I'm ready. <laughs> you, you like being the first fight on the yeah, card, right? I, I, I always wanted to be the first, and yeah, I've shot it again. <laughs> it's a bit, bit tougher fighting first in the morning, though, right? I've done one main event before, and man, it's hard. I want to... I always want to open the show. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's 7 a.m. or 7 yeah. p.m., right? Yeah, I want to be the starter. <laughs> it's a good role for you, I think. Do you think you've done enough now to maybe put your name in the hat to face the champion, or do you need another win in this top five? Well, I think I, I am ready for the belt. Yeah, I just need to get back, get better, and... Yeah, especially now, I done the sacrifice. I moved out from Philippines, went out to Bali, and yeah, I got all the needed. I I I I got all the coaches that I need, the training partners and everything. So I think it's just a proper preparation. I'm all already there. Yeah, talk to me about this new gym in Bali. You you seem to be a different fighter. Do you feel like this is the best Lito Adiwang we've ever seen? Yeah, um, because before it's just like, uh, I know I got something more in me, but it's just like, I cannot bring out because, uh, but now I, I'm, I'm, I got a solid team that to, who just is, uh, bring out what's the best uh, in me. So yeah, we just try to sharpen that out. And I think it shows in these two fights that I got, something more even uh not just striking and even in striking i think i'm uh, more getting polished in striking well it looks like it's joshua next with jared so maybe you want to take one of these other guys like gustavo balat or uh, mansoor malakiev yeah i'm really aiming for uh gustavo okay. yeah yeah Europa, uh, anyone I'm going for Gustavo now. So if Gustavo wants it, I'm ready for it. So let's get that done because I know Joshua and uh, the, cha the champ is yeah next in line. So I think whoever wins there and whoever wins with me and uh, uh, Gustavo, let's do it. Do you think Joshua can beat Jared, regain his title? There's a big, very big possibility. Joshua is evolving and yeah, he's doing his part also training. So I believe, I believe uh, if he does the right things, he, he got all the tools. Did you think you were close to finishing this fight in the first round when you knocked him down? We were all watching backstage like, whoa, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really believe uh, I should have finished that, but it's just like... Jeremy's I, a tough guy though, right? Yeah, he's tough, and one is I rushed. I know that's my mistake there. I didn't get the proper position to throw my punches. It's just like when I saw that he's hurt, just give 
that's the thing one problem for me but slowly slowly i'm trying to polish everything well you got the win that's all that matters congratulations lito and i know uh you've got a lot of fans uh, how, how do you feel getting all that support from the fans after your last win as well when you know i think you revealed to us a lot of emotional things you've been going through have you felt a lot of love from the fans i know angela lee reached out to you as well was that cool yeah so I am very overwhelmed from all uh, uh, our fans and supporters. Yeah, after my in our interview yeah. last time. So, and that's what I want. That's what I want to reach out and give out also. Uh, aside just from watching us fighting, so I want to touch and reach out also to other people. That yeah, even us man, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to open up if we're down. But yeah, yeah that's it. We need to, yeah, uh, just we got, as I've said, we still, everyone got a purpose in this life. Just find it and yeah, life is worth it. That's absolutely right. Would you like to do something with Fight Story? What Angela Lee set up? Um, has, has she kind of spoken to you about maybe going on there? Yeah, uh, I'm looking forward for that. And I, especially I think, um, yeah, my life story is also... Yeah kind of out there and a lot of, uh, of the fans are reaching out also i'm quite overwhelmed that the <laughs> their uh touch in my life story and then a lot of fans are reaching out that uh, they're making it as a motivation and uh actually i don't know if i'm proud of it but i'm just thankful that people are looking up onto it and then yeah picking some uh yeah encouragement from there well, you're the role model now. Congratulations again, Lito. Appreciate you coming on here. And we cannot wait to see you back, hopefully soon, opening another show. <laughs> or maybe in the main event, who knows, one day you're going to be fighting Jared or Joshua for that title. But anyway, the Thunder Kid is back with a bang. Two wins on the bounce. Any final message to everyone out there? So, yeah, uh, that's what I've said before. Yeah. To, to everyone out there, yeah. Life is beautiful. Every one of us here got a purpose. So just find and keep believing in yourself. Life is very beautiful. Life is very beautiful, especially right now for you. How are you going to go celebrate? Uh, yeah, I just... <laughs> get some food, right? Go and eat, relax, and get back. Get back on working. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it now uh, training. I think that's one key. I enjoy the hard trainings and uh, looking at it. It's just like, it's hard, but... When I see that I'm improving, I enjoyed it. I'm happy. <laughs> That's what life's about. All right, thanks again, Lita. We'll see you Thank next you time. Very much. Hello, everybody. Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give them a follow.